All right, guys, welcome back to Subpar Golf. This is episode two of Don't Go Over. If you don't know, Don't Go Over is a series I do where I play as many holes as I can, but when I go over par, the video ends. This first hole, though, is a tough one. About a 210 yard par three. Gotta make sure I get a par here. Okay, it's cutting a little bit. Okay, I think we are maybe pin high. We might be off the green just a little bit. I don't know if you guys picked up on it, but everything out here is soaking wet. It just rained really hard for like 20 minutes. And there's a chance that it could rain again, but I'm just gonna fight through it. Hopefully the shot is gonna be easier than I think it is. All right guys, this is where we ended up. I think it's just gonna be a putt. Slack something up there. We'll go in. Didn't go in, but we'll take that. Easy par. And the first hole. Even through one. Ooh, all right, being even through the first hole. Well, I have to be even through the first hole, so obviously it feels good. But par threes, they scare me, man. Those are, that's definitely what I struggle with the most. Now we got a par five. It's still fairly long. It is sticky and humid out here. Par five. Okay, I think I hit that a little low in the face because it maybe came four feet off the ground the entire time. But it got a very nice rollout. Not great, not terrible. That is a scary storm over there. I hope that thing stays away. Let's see how far we are. We're 277 yards away. So I'm gonna hit like a, I don't even know what I'm gonna hit. Let's go find out. All right guys, I decided to hit a hybrid here. Get something up there. a little right sit okay I have no idea what that hit because it went it went left I didn't know there was anything up there that could make it go left don't be in the bunker okay it's not oh got about up and down probably 40 yards for a sweet little birdie you know if these grooves are getting cleaned it's a it's a pretty big deal here we got about 50 yards to it ground is wet up there so this should stick try to give myself something close sit i think i almost hit that in the hole hopefully we have like 10 feet for the birdie all right so not quite 10 feet for the birdie like i said but probably about 30. okay this might sound really stupid but i'm playing this pretty straight Maybe like a cup and a half out to my left, y'all's right. Nope. That one hurts the soul a little bit, but easy par. Never complain about that. Just kidding, I will complain about that. I wish I would've hit it just a little bit harder, but we're even par through two holes. Two holes, baby. Now we're on to a par four. It is kind of short. I usually hate this hole, but I've kind of been killing it lately. So hopefully, maybe I can sneak out a birdie before I have to go play that next treacherous par three. All right, guys, this hole is about 365, 370, something like that. Probably shouldn't hit driver, but you gotta keep hitting it if something's gonna happen. Okay, pull that a little bit. Get past that tree. Sit. I hope that thing sat. If it sat, we're gonna have a really good angle into the green. A lot of it to work with. If it didn't sit, then it sucked. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Really no tree issue here. At least I don't think. I'm gonna back the car though, so I can put the camera here. 90 to the pin. Should be like a little 80%, 60 degree. All right, guys, 80 yards to it. This tree shouldn't be in the way. I say should, and I might find a way to power fade it right into it, but gonna go more at the middle of the green here. Just need a putt. That's gonna be a little short, I think. It's up there. 
thunder in my backswing is crazy though. It takes real dedication to play through that. I don't think I'm on the green, but I'm still gonna be put it because it's up there enough. Oh yeah, see we're not on the green, but we're, we're almost on the green. Well, I probably should chip this, but cart's pretty far away. I'm gonna putt this. I think I'm gonna have to ride it up that slope and then it's gonna break hard at the hole. A little two putt for par. Come on down, come on down. Stop now, stop, stop. I don't know, I'd say that's like, it's enough to make you think about it, I'll say that. I'm gonna line this up real quick and hopefully we will be even through three. All right, even through three. Par three next. Front pin though, so that's gonna help a little bit. Hopefully though, this par, par three is gonna play a little easier with a front pin though. 177 to the stick, no wind. How about an eight iron, guys? I think that's gonna be the play here. Pretty simple shot here. Short is definitely better than long. I wanna say I'm gonna try to cut or draw this in there, but I'm just gonna try to hit the straight. That was code. Don't go in that bunker. Be short. Okay. First real challenge right here. Gotta get up and down. I am not too mad about that because my wedges have been very good and I'm actually confident that I'm gonna get this up and down. Now I could say that and dump it in the bunker, but I did say short was better than long. I still stand by that. I think my my thought process here is land something high just in front of the green and let it roll up there. Okay, we got a putt. If I get zapped by lightning on camera, I need 5,000 likes. What is this about? Probably eight feet. I'm gonna take my time with this one. I'm gonna play it like left edge. I think left edge is the shot there. Oh, needed that. That was huge. This next hole is a easy par. Now I say easy par. I'm not trying to get cocky. I could birdie this next one. That'd be good. That's gonna be loud. Yep. I'm gonna go hit my tee shot real quick. All right, I'm gonna hit this ball down there by the 150 real quick. It's probably gonna be the last hole and then I'm gonna go sit in my car for a little bit so I don't get electrocuted. Breathe. Sit. Sit. Okay. Almost went in the creek, but it didn't. I feel like a storm chaser right now. Yeah, after this, you're going to go back and uh, sit in the car, watch some YouTube. That's almost as good as you can hit it. Oh, 154. I'm going to hit a night iron. I hear it raining in those trees over there. I hear it raining. Not today, rain. Not today. That looks pretty good. I can't really see the ball because it's so murky out here, but I, I know it's on the green. I heard it hit green. I think we might be a little bit long, if anything. Where are you at, Paul? Oh. Oh my God, it's pouring. It's pouring, but I have like, I think I have like literally three feet for birdie. I think. Okay. I'm gonna hit this with my phone because I don't want to get the camera wet. So I'll see y'all up at the green. It's really close. It's really close. I didn't realize it was this close. Look, okay. I'm right here. I'm gonna tap it in. 30, one under. All right, I don't even know if y'all can hear me because the rain. I thought that ball was gonna be like five feet and I walked up there and it was like two inches. So I hope y'all enjoyed phone cam. Uh, I got absolutely soaked. Now I am going to sit in the car and wait for this atrocious weather to stop. Well, I am sorry that last clip was a little chaotic. It was raining. So now about three hours after that last clip was filmed, I just went and ate hibachi and worked out. Then I drove all the way back to the golf course and walked from the clubhouse to hole number seven. It's the sixth hole in the video though, because I'm that dedicated, baby. So 
Now, why I am allowed to bogey this hole and still continue playing, because if I bogey it, it puts me at even par, I really want to par this one. Because if we par this one, I think I can go pretty far. Oh, I haven't swung in like three hours. Just trying to poke something out there. It's a par four, by the way. I really hope that's not in the bunker again. I think that's to the right of it. All right, walking up here, I don't see that it's in the bunker so far, so that could be good. Oh, never mind. Never mind. It's in the bunker. I lied. Well, unfortunately, we found the bunker, but it's rain, so this bunker really shouldn't matter too much. It feels pretty hard. I got 172 to it, so I think that's going to be an 8. I think an 8 is going to be the club there. Hopefully, this will go straight. Came out good. It. That looks really good. Like it might be in the pen really good. But we're gonna have to go up there and see. Well, I'm gonna be honest. I'm walking up here and this ball is like, it looks like it's just like the last one, like two inches away from the hole. Thing is in there tight. Well, I'm just gonna pull a club out of my bag and tap that in. Always fix your ball marks, people. That might be the best shot I've ever hit on the channel. Tap that in with a five iron. Oh. We conquered this hole, we finally did it. Now we're two under, going to a par five. Well guys, I would say that that is probably the best shot I've ever hit on camera on that hole. So now I'm at, I'm two under through, I'm two under through six holes. This is also a birdieable par five. It's about 520 yards. Hopefully I don't do anything stupid here. And then we get another birdie. We go to three under, which would, would be kind of crazy. Oh, that might be too good. Get down, get down, get down. Okay. I know that was like, you're probably, why is he yelling get down? That thing went dead straight. But sometimes when I hit it a little farther, I'll hit it through the fairway and it'll go a B, but pretty solid drive. I usually end up down there on this hole, so. We have 240 yards to the pin. I'm gonna hit a seven iron. And I'm gonna try to lay this ball up in between those two bunkers. Because where this pin's at, I think that gives me a better chance for another birdie going up and down. I'm not laying up. I'm not laying up, actually. I'm going to hit a... I feel like if I hit a four iron perfect, it'll get there. I'm going to hit a four. This probably is really dumb. At least I said it was dumb. I, I knew it was going to happen. Well, hang on. I don't know if y'all can see that. I think right through that tree. I don't know if it's picking it up. I think my ball might actually be in play. I honestly had zero faith that was going to be in bounds, but when, when things like that happen, you're just, you're destined for a good day, you know? 75 yards. This light is a little fluffy. It's kind of worrying me. Okay, that ball completely disappeared, so. Okay, I see it. I actually see it. I think we have another birdie putt. Three in a row would be crazy. All right, we got about seven or eight feet to go back to back to back birdies. I haven't really had to putt on these greens since I've been back because I had that tap in. And now I just need to figure out how hard to hit this thing. All right, I think that's the line. I think. For three in a row. It feels like, it kind of feels unreal, I'm not gonna lie. We're three under through seven, three, three under through seven, I think. Next tee box. If I par these next two holes, I tie my best nine holes, not only on camera, but ever, because the best nine holes ever shot was actually on camera, weirdly enough. Smash that like button for three birdies in a row. The way that last birdie went, I can just tell the universe wants good things for me to do. Okay, that's hooking a little bit. Stay up there. Holy cow, that's going forever. <laughs> like, that's not a good shot, but it's going to be so good. Kind of hitting off a slope. Not the worst thing in the world. All right, this thing's playing 130 uphill. I'm gonna hit a gap wedge. Really, anything on the green here, I'm not happy. Ooh. 
So it might be a little short, but it looks right at it. Go. I think I'm short, but all I said I wanted was a putt, and we got a putt. I got about 40, 40 feet for birdie. Honestly, don't think there's any shot I can make this ball in the hole. So the goal is a lag putt, and then tap in for an easy par. I'm actually gonna have to line this up because most days I'm walking up there and I'm hitting that, but circumstances are a little different right now. All right, three under through eight. It's like, do I wanna play safe here or do I wanna try to get a birdie and beat my record? We've been lucky all day. Might as well get lucky again. Don't go over. It doesn't even feel like one of those videos now because I'm just playing out of my mind. Oh, get over, get over, get over, get over, get over. Am I even, I don't even know if I'm playing good right now. Like, I swear I'm getting so lucky. Pins in the back, y'all can't see it. I can't see it either. I just know that it's over those tall trees. So I'm gonna hit a gap wedge. I know it's in the back. I might have to stop going right. I really hope that's not the bunker. All right, we ended up short of the green, which I'm, I would rather have this than have to putt from up here. Gotta get up and down to tie my record. Or I could hole it to beat it, who knows? The way things have been going today, I really wouldn't even be that shocked. With these wet greens, I feel like I wanna to try to hit it a little higher and hope it'll stick. That's pretty good. Sit, ooh, stop. Okay, I kind of caught it on the down slope. All right, I'd say that's about, again, another probably eight, seven, probably a seven footer. I think it's gonna go that way. Oh, okay. Trust it and hit it. Go in. I'm not even mad. I am not even mad. All right. That was crazy. All right, now we're two under through nine holes. Didn't break my record. Now I'm on to a par three, back to uh, don't go over. Through like the first three holes I played, I was not having fun. It was hot, it was humid. I can already tell, I haven't edited this video yet, but this is gonna be my favorite video I've ever made. I just got a feeling, sun's starting to come out. All right, 173 to a front pin. Right at it, hold the green. Stay on the green. Stay. Okay. But that is a another very, very birdieable shot. All right, we are kind of in a little race with the sun right now. I think we still have about 30 minutes. Hey, everyone go check JB Pumps 3 out on Instagram. That's my boy. He's been grinding, hitting the legs. All right, back to what we were doing. This is gonna come left, y'all's right. This will be a crazy bomb right here. Did I hit that enough? Whew. I did hit it good enough. All right, par. We love it, we take them. On to a par five. Let's go make a birdie, or maybe even an eagle. The sun is going down. Like, I, I, I can see it going down pretty fast. I feel like I'm gonna get to the farthest point away from the clubhouse, and then I'm gonna go over par. Just gut feeling. So I'm probably gonna end up walking back in the dark. That might be a little scary, but let's go make birdie. This is a very birdieable hole for me. The line is like just left of those bushes slash trees down there. I don't really know what you want to call them. Oh my God. Yep. Yes, please. That is absolutely new. We are about to have like 130 into the green, I think. I think. It's probably going to be more like 160. What? This is insane. Hey. No. Come on. No. Bentley, come on. Come on. I'm going to put you on your leash. Come here. You don't want to go on that leash. Come on. 155. 151. Ah. Low. Sit. Sit. Stop. 
a little long. All right, the last shot I was talking to a guy while I was hitting it. He had a big dog, his dog was cool, but gotta get up and down for birdie. That puddle right there is really scaring me. Oh my God, smoke that. Not good. All right, now I gotta go up and down for par. Stay at two under. Huh. A little short, so that's gonna be an easy par. All right, I don't even know what number hole that is, but still two under. All right, well, I'm two under. That was like, I'm not mad about that par, but that's like, I feel like out of any single hole out here that I should birdie, it should be that one. Just cause how far I hit it and it's not a very long par five, but again, we don't complain about pars, but I uh, unfortunately have to make the executive decision that we're gonna skip the next three holes because they're about two miles away from the clubhouse and I don't wanna get stuck out here when it gets pitch black dark and get eaten by a bear. We're about to go on to my favorite hole on the course, a par three. And it's got a front pin, so. 136. Ooh, that is like a either step on gap wedge or a soft pitching wedge. You know, we got two holes left. I'm hitting the gap wedge. This is probably stupid, but if this thing is hit good, it's gonna go in the hole, so. Front pin, attack this thing. Go, go. Okay, got the number. It's a little left, but that's okay. We got another birdie putt. They keep giving them to me. Some of them are gonna fall. So we were pin high. Foe, the birdie. Just pulled it a little bit. What's this putt doing? I think it's gonna go that way a little bit. I'm playing this thing left edge. Y'all's right. Wouldn't it be something if I found a way to put this in the hole? I think that dog is uh, barking at something. Okay. Back to three under. What in the world, dude? I don't get it. I don't get it, man. All right, guys, it's so late they have the sprinklers running out here. The whole point of the Don't Go Over series is that I want to play 18 holes and go under or even par, but you know, it was kind of unfortunate today that the rain happened, but everything happens for a reason. I've kind of been in a slump with my game, so this is pretty, pretty big for confidence. So we're still going to keep making the Don't Go Over series because it's got to be a full 18. So while things didn't go exactly how I planned them to go. If I could shoot three under through 14 holes, I'd be pretty happy with that. Usually don't hit driver on this hole, and I'm not going to hit driver because I can hit this driver in the water. Right. Ground's really wet, so I'm a little nervous about this. Got the hybrid. Final hole of the day. Par four, by the way. Oh, it's a little right. Should be fine. Putting these shot tracers on while it's almost dark outside is gonna be really fun. Well, I'm currently looking for my ball. I don't see it. I know it's in play, but it's just I'm um, by the range. So all these balls kind of look the same. Okay, there's a white ball up here, like really far, but there's no way that my hybrid went this far when it's this wet. And the closer and closer I get, it looks like it could be my ball. It's my ball. Guys, I don't know how my hybrid got up here. It's wet, like the ball does not roll when it's wet. And my, my hybrid's usually like 50 yards back there, but I guess it's just my day. 63 yards to the pin. This is like a 400 yard hole. All right, guys, if I get another birdie, I know this might sound ridiculous, but can we get a hundred likes on this video? This is the craziest golf I've ever played. Again, I know it's not the full 18. Believe me, I'm three under. It sucks for me too. I literally could, play four more holes and destroy my all-time record, but let's try to get this close for birdie. I'm flopping in there high. That looks really good. Kick down. Oh, short. Oh, if I hit that like 
three more yards, it would have rolled down right into that pin. All right, this is what we're left with for birdie. This is honestly a really hard pin, so I don't plan on making this. But I got this for three under through 14. Uh, this thing is all downhill, so it can get a little scary. Again, one of those putts is more about speed than anything. If that putt would have gone in, I would have jumped in that pond, I swear to God. To close it out, in the dark. Guys, three under through 14 holes. That is the best I've ever played, like off camera, on camera, whatever. I am like, it hurts me a little bit that I can't go play four other holes because it's dark outside, but I think that video deserves a like. Again, to, for to actually beat the series, don't go over, it's gotta be 18 holes, but I did, I did my best today, I really did. Uh, I hope y'all enjoyed that video. That was, I can just tell it's gonna be my favorite video I ever make already. Um, started off really slow, it was hot, didn't enjoy it, but that is huge for my confidence. So, thanks for watching guys. Pound that like button, pound that subscribe button. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you so much if you made it to the end. Peace.